So let's get to it. How do you actually access Waterscope? First, you're gonna need an email with your login name and your password, and that will come from the system itself. You'll receive a message from Waterscope support, and when you open it, you'll find your username and your password. If you don't receive one of those, you can reach out to us at customer service at metron-s2.com. The next thing you're gonna do is go to your internet browser, like Safari or Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, and you'll type in www.waterscope.us. And I recommend bookmarking that page so that it's easy for you to get to anytime. There's no software to download. You can access Waterscope anytime you have access to the internet. On the Waterscope login page, I'll apply my username and password from my email and click sign in. Now you're signed in and you can see your account name here at the top left and your username over here on the top right. Next, when you log in, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to change your password because you're going to be coming into this system regularly, hopefully at least two to three times per week, maybe even every day. And it's going to be nice for you to have a password that you can quickly and easily remember. To change your password, click on your username at the top right, then select Manage. Here you'll be able to enter in your password from your system email and then select a new password that you can easily remember. So now that we're logged in, we're ready to get started actually using Waterscope. Head on over to the next video and we'll get started.